let's talk about cutting and gluing. First things first, scissor safety. It's always best to leave my scissors closed and on the table when I'm not using them. If I need to take my scissors to another space, then I can carry them safely by keeping them closed and holding the tip in my hand like this. I also need to make sure that when I'm cutting, I keep my scissors in my own space. These rules for safety ensure that nobody gets hurt from the blades of the scissors. Now, how do scissors work? There are two holes on my scissors for my fingers to go through. The small hole is for one finger, and that finger is gonna be my thumb. The larger hole, I can use more than one finger, and I'll use the other fingers on my hands for that. So my thumb in the small hole, my other fingers in the large hole. I use my scissors by opening and shutting my hand. Open, shut, open, shut. I also wanna make sure that my thumb is always on top. So let's get some paper. Thumb on top, open. I put my paper inside, shut. I just cut some paper. Now I'm gonna do some practicing with those rules. Thumb on top, open and shut. Thumb on top, open and shut. Thumb on top, open and shut. Open and shut. Thumb on top, open and shut. Open and shut, open and shut. When I'm done cutting, I close my scissors and I set them on the table. Let's say you wanna cut out the shape of something or maybe even a picture that you found. I love shrimp and I found this picture of tasty shrimp in a magazine. So I'm gonna use my scissors and I'm going to follow the edges with the blade. It'll look something like this. I make sure my thumb is in the small hole, my other finger's in the big hole. Open, and I'm gonna put my page in between my scissors so that my blade looks like it's going to match up with the edge of this picture. Open and shut. See how I follow that edge? Open and shut. And then I made it to the edge of my picture, so I'm going to turn my page. Open, line it up with the next edge, shut. Open and shut. Time to turn again. Open and shut, open and shut. Sometimes I just tear off the extra. And then one last edge, open and shut, open and shut. Close my scissors and set them on the table. Now I have all of these pieces that I've cut. What am I going to do with them? Time to start gluing. When I use thin paper, I almost always use a glue stick to stick it down because glue sticks aren't very wet. So I'm gonna start with my little picture of the magazine and we're gonna use a glue stick together. The first thing I have to do is take off the cap. You'll notice my glue stick is twisted all the way down so I need to twist it up just a little bit. See, there's just a little bit of glue there. That's plenty to glue down my picture. Let's try that again. Twist it down just a little bit. That's all the glue that I need. 
I always put the glue on the back of the pieces that I'm gluing when I use a glue stick because sometimes it will leave marks on my paper that I don't want. So I'm taking my shrimp picture and I'm turning it over and I'm going to make sure I put the glue on all the way. I'm covering the whole back side of this picture until it's nice and sticky. It's going to dry fast, so I need to flip it over and stick it down. Notice I rub this down all the way to make sure that everything is stuck in place. The next step is really important. When I'm all done using my glue stick, I need to make sure that I twist it down below the edge and put on my cap until it clicks. That's going to keep my glue stick from drying out. All right, let's practice this again. Just a few more pieces of paper that we're gonna glue down with our glue stick. Take off the cap, twist it up just a little bit. That looks great. Glue on the back of my piece. Sometimes I just put the paper on top. Stick it down and make sure I press it all the way. Twist it down, put on my cap, and listen for the click. Noticing that some of these papers I'm gluing down are a little bit thicker and heavier than the magazine page. They stick with my glue stick, but they might stick better if I use a wet glue like this. So to use this glue, I'm going to twist open the top. This glue can be very wet and messy. I definitely don't want to pour it out and make a big puddle on my page because it will take forever to dry. So instead, I'm going to use teeny tiny dots, like this. This time I am going to put my glue on my paper and I'm just going to make a teeny tiny dot. Just like that. One little dot is enough to hold this whole piece of paper. I press it down to make sure that it sticks. Let's try again. Teeny tiny dot. teeny tiny dot stick if I'm going to glue on a long piece like this or a bigger piece of paper I might need to use more than one teeny tiny dot so I'm gonna lay this here and put some dots next to it how about three one two three teeny tiny dots. Now I can flip this over and stick it down. I touch each little dot to make sure that it sticks. Now that I'm done gluing, I need to make sure that I twist to close my top. When I see this little white dot above the orange cap, I know that my glue is sealed and it won't dry out. The wet glue is going to take some extra time to dry, so I don't want to move my paper around a lot. I'm simply going to clean up my trash. I'll throw those away or recycle them. I'm going to slide my art out of the way and set my scissors and my glues. I'm actually going to put them back in the container because that's what I do when I clean up.
Remember to be safe and tidy when you're cutting and gluing. Have fun!